Go ahead and open up FSpy. FSpy is a program that essentially just tells Blender where the X, Y, and Z axis are. For those of you who have cave membranes just like me, if you look at our car photo here, you can see that this panel where I place the red line is perfectly straight and goes side to side. The Z axis I place is where things go perfectly up and down in the photo, and the Y axis is where things go perfectly back and forth. For those of you wondering how you place these lines, basically it'll start you out with each individual line. You can hit here, drag each line to where you want. If you want closer magnification, you can hold shift and it'll zoom in like this. And you might notice that it only starts you out with two vanishing points. If you want a third one, you have to change the principal point button here from image midpoint to third vanishing point, and then it'll give you a third one to work with. Now once you have everything placed, go to File, Save As, and pick a folder where you want to save this project. I'm going to call mine Car. Now let's open up Blender. Make sure you've installed the FSpy importer. I'll link it down below. Hit Import, FSpy, and then click your project file. Add in a flat plane somewhere in the photo that goes perfectly up and down or side to side. Now, when you click on an edge and extrude it, you'll notice that maybe things go a little wonky. If you just try to move it on its own and you axe it out of the photo, you'll notice it doesn't actually go where you want to. That's because you're being dumb. Delete those vertices. Now hit the edge again, and when you hit E this time, hit G, and then hit an axis that you want it to move in. I'm going to hit X. So G plus X. G, X. And now you'll notice it only moves in the X axis direction. Now you have something that looks a little better. Now I hear you thinking, what if my point isn't only moving in one direction? Well, here's a little trick. You can hit G and Shift plus X, Y, or Z to block movement in only one direction, meaning you can move two axes at a time. Wow, how neat. Let me show you an example. G plus Shift X, and now it'll only move on the Y and Z axis. You can see in this little time lapse how everything starts to come together. Keep in mind you should use this only for blocking in shapes. Maybe do more detailed sections later. But now as you can see, we have a good chunk of the car interior ready to go. I do once again apologize for taking so long to put out another tutorial. I mean at this point it's been three years, and I know this isn't the best tutorial in the world. I know there has been other FSpy objects, but I hope you guys can at least get something out of this. I've been eager to make more tutorials, so if you do have requests, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys, hope you have a good one.